Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about our play games and today we're going to be playing Undertale. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and, you know, fought Undyne and thankfully she left us alone. In this episode, there are a few things. We have this lab over to the right, but we're going to talk about that a bit later. Sorry, Undyne, like, told us there was totally a human in the area. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Yeah, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. So, I believe, if I'm correct, down here... Yes, so you remember all of those different areas where there was just a long, like, river of water? This is what that's for. Tra-la-la, I am the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat? This is basically a fast travel system, so what we want to do is we want to head over to Waterfall. And while we're heading on over there, he gives us a little nugget of wisdom. Tra-la-la, -la, dancing on a boat is danger, but good exercise. Come again sometime. Tra-la-la. -la. So now what we want to do is head on back over to uh, Undyne's. First, I'm going to go ahead and save, just in case. Hey, there's Papyrus. I wonder what happens if we call him. That's Undyne's house. You know, the one with the skeleton in front? That's Undyne's house. You know the one with the skeleton in front? Oh ho, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two good friends. Hang out? Yeah. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Hey, Papy hey, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am, and I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you, on their own. Uh... Thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> so why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Really? How delightful, I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you, but I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Yeah, she's great. Sit down and progress. No, I'm actually not going to do that real quick. I forgot. I can't believe he leapt through the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing. 
One time, Alfie's, Alfie's uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and feed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. You want to see my room? Too bad. No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. And the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. This oven is some of is some top of the line MTT thing. But you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. I hate cold food, so Alfie's fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans have wielded swords up to ten times their size, right? Heh, <laughs> I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alfie's built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? Let's go ahead and progress now. Got a bit of world building. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set. What would you like? Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. So we have a ton of options. First of all, Undyne. Are you hitting on me? Ugh. We also have the sword over here. Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords if you weren't my beloved house guest. The fridge? You want to have the entire fridge? No. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait, I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Okay, so it says green cylinder, but that that's clearly blue, right? Anyway. Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. Heh, <laughs> that's fine. I think soda's gross, too. Rots your teeth. Rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit. Huh? Why do I have it? That sugar's for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with their energy spears? Are their ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? What? Really? That rules! So now let's go with the blatantly correct choice. T, huh? Coming right up! Not much to say, she just, uh, it'll take a moment for the water to boil. Just gotta kind of wait here for a second. <laughs> okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. Take a sip of the tea, it's burning. <laughs> but other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sorta. Of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. 
Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, uh, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that, uh, he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped up into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe you can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can even imagine. <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends. <laughs> Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How will you pound, Wimpy? You pet the vegetables in an affectionate manner. Oh my god, stop petting the enemy. I'll show you how it's done. Yeah. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah. Uh, just put them in a pot. How do you put them in? Careful. You place the noodles in one at a time. They clank against the empty bottom. Nice. Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Stir harder. 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 Ah, uh, let me do it. <laughs> That's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hotter. Hotter. Darn it. Hotter. Wait, that's too... Ah. Uh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because, if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without a regret. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you got. Yeah. Attack 41, defense 21. This time, don't hold anything back. Show me what you've got. Do your worst. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. Wow. 
What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh, <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick. But the way you hit me just now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now, let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go up hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. We'll see you later, punk. So yeah, now whenever we call Papyrus, Undyne will also be there. That's Undyne's house. It's a great place to... Uh... <sighs> yeah, that's my house. Hi, Undyne. How'd you get here so fast? I ran. Wowee, Undyne. Someday I want to be as strong and sweaty as you. So you ran here just to be on the phone? Yep. Then you must have something extremely cool to say about your house. Nope. And nothing else to that. I might have trouble juggling both voices at the same time, so forgive me if I suck at that. Alrighty, but let's go ahead and... First, I want to head back to Snowden. Also, sometimes the river person, their boat can turn into a cat for some reason. I don't know why, but... Tralala, Temi Village. The room before the Darkening Lantern Room. So that's your hint to get into Temi Village if you didn't already do that. I, I believe the Temi are actually based off of a real person, Temi Chang, who I believe worked on this game in terms of like art and stuff like that. So shout out to them. Oh, so now I want to go ahead and call uh, Papyrus and Undyne right here. That furry person throws ice all day. Nobody knows where it goes. Hey, I know. Elfie's told me. It goes to Hotland to cool down the core. Wow, Undyne, I didn't know you liked nerdy stuff. Just strength and fighting. Are you kidding? Why wouldn't I? The brain's the biggest muscle of all. Hypnotizing, isn't it? I love doing Papyrus' voice. It's just fun to do. Especially since now that I've, you know, kind of relaxed it a bit more because in the first, like, couple of episodes it was like human hello there but now that I've gotten used to it I've, I can just kind of do it laid back and relaxed like hello there human Snowden home of papyrus that's the slogan right I'm petitioning to change the slogan okay so it doesn't change anything unfortunately hey punk what's up uh, <laughs> papyrus how can you stand this cold I have no skin so why don't we stand in Grillby's instead? Because I hate grease. But you don't have a stomach. No, but I have standards. I'm so glad you and Undyne are friends now. You go, you two go to the, together like pasta and burning. <laughs> now, I believe you can go back and there's a line of dialogue for every single room in this game. But now with Undyne in it. I also believe there's something in this town, but... I don't know. I thought there was, like, a thing where you could talk to the teens who bullied Snowdrake or something like... Not Snowdrake, uh, Gift Trot. Uh, but I guess I was mistaken on that, unless you have to go outside of Snowden Town. 
then it might be those kids that were camping out there. Just gonna... Oh, I also forgot to mention, right behind this house. It's locked. There's a secret area back there that can be unlocked. Tra la la. Care for a ride? Yeah. Where will we go today? To Hotland. Then we're off. Tra la la. The waters are wild today. That's bad luck. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Now, did we get anything? If hey, you should come to visit to Snowden and visit me. No way. Come to Snowden and visit me. What? We're in the same location. Wrong. I'm standing slightly to the right. I thought she was... Okay, I guess from her perspective, it would be to the right. What? Royal guards are blocking the way. Then I'll tell them to... Well, nothing, I guess. I already told them to seek out and destroy you. And I can't just tell them I've changed my mind. You see, Alfie showed me these animations about... Uh, humans, so I can learn their weaknesses. And one of them is about this human that, uh... Well, suffice to say, they can control people's minds. Surprised? I know your kind's hidden power... Anyway, I told my crew that if I ever defended a human, I must be under some kind of mind control and to disregard everything that I tell them. So, sorry, but my hands are tied. By the way, that animation is really good. Oh. I'm not going to tell them to let you buy. <laughs> Things such a strange laboratory in a place like this are filled with determination. Okay, I don't need to press that again. So, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue on into Alfie's lab. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!